Welcome to Buchake English for Teens. I'm Hava Steiner. And I'm Camille Fujizaki. Let's get started by watching today's skit. I have something special for you guys. Oh, you shouldn't have. They look interesting. I'd love to get your opinions. It has a very unique flavor. Thank you. They are tonkotsu flavored cupcakes. It seems like Takeru is experimenting with some new dishes. Yeah, who knew he was a master baker as well as a master ramen maker? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I'm not sure cupcake should be tonkotsu flavor. Yeah, that's true. He shouldn't have chosen such an odd flavor. But you know what we should do? Talk about today's point. You shouldn't have. <laughs> that's right. You shouldn't have is a phrase which means that something was unnecessary. You can use it when someone gives you a gift or does something nice for you. It doesn't really mean that you didn't want it or that you're angry about it, though. Right. It's just a way to show appreciation for a nice thing that someone did for you, even though they didn't have to do it. I just realized I should have brought a sweater today. It's so cold. <sighs> oh, don't worry. I brought one for you. Oh. You shouldn't have. It's no trouble. Mm. I found it in the bushes outside and thought it would look great on you. Our mote on point for today is about the pronunciation of shouldn't have. That's right. We're not done with shouldn't have just yet. You may have noticed, but the have in shouldn't have is not pronounced very clearly. It sounds like the contracted form of have, but it's written out as H-A-V-E. Good point. We tend to avoid double contractions in writing, so it's usually written as shouldn't have. But when speaking, it is often pronounced as a contraction. Contractions using have end with the sound of. So in the case of shouldn't and have, we simply stick of onto the end of shouldn't, and it becomes shouldn't have. We can do the same thing with other contractions that are followed by have. Let's try some examples. Repeat after us. He couldn't have failed the exam. Great. If we had known, we wouldn't have gone there. Nice. We shouldn't have bought so many donuts. Perfect. Wait, how many donuts did we buy? 20. We'll never be able to finish them all. Give me that. <laughs> oh, wow. I shouldn't have doubted you. Well, that's all for today. Be sure to try these phrases out and don't forget to have fun. See you next week.